more derpy face loading screen. <laughs> it's funny. Each chapter might have new instructions to give you a hint of what you need to do. That one's telling you how to like tilt the controller, which is my least favorite of the game controller mechanics, the fucking tilt function. I think it's a little harder on PS4 controllers because they're fucking heavy. They have a like a speaker inside of them and a little LED light, which is cool and all, and it can be kind of useful in some games, but or at least a cool feature because the, they change color, but the lights, even if you turn them down to dim, it really eats up the battery. I have like four PS4 controllers and their their batteries just run out so fast and I can't find any new ones because of the demand. You know, can't find a PS5 either, you know how it is. Anyway, enough about that. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? Uh, car probably. I can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. What's the next thing he thinks about? I should go talk to the garage guy over there. It's really weird. Look at this guy's Excuse eyes when me? he comes out. He looks like he's blind. There's something wrong with his eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? Hey. Oh. Ah. ah. Sorry. Didn't see you. Jesus, no uh, wonder. What can I do you for? Lay off the morphine, that's what you can do. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with your eyes? They're completely rolled back I'd into like his head. My car? I think that was an accident. His eyes still kind of look fucked up. He reminds me of that guy from Green Mile. Stepping forward, stepping forward, walking the mile, walking the mile. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Uh... Yeah, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at thanks. the far end of the garage. Ah, oh, you have yourself a good one, Chief. How does he re like, how does he re well, whatever. You're not supposed to know. But it's like, I was thinking, how do you recognize me? I don't recognize you. Have I been here But then before? the blackouts. Don't remember it. Exactly. Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? Wouldn't the battery Elevator go dead? The back of the garage, third floor. Got it. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he said anything about maintaining the car, but if a car sits for two years without even being maintained, as far as I know, the battery will run out. I don't know a lot about cars, but I'm pretty sure the batteries don't last if the car isn't driven or at least warmed up. I'm gonna laugh at myself when I hear this recording later because he probably said something about the battery, but I was too busy thinking about sh different shit. Like how weird that guy's eyes were. Among other things. Dozens of cars. But which one am I looking for? This is interesting. This is actually the proper way to use, uh... What do you call that? A car sensor button thing. What the fuck is that? It's like the car alarm thing. You actually have to point it upwards. People always point it, like, forward. Pointing it up is the way to do it. Gee, what car is it? What car is it? I can't make out what car it is. I'm sorry. It's a nice car. Even the license plates look European. I'm surprised that David Cage remembered to put the steering wheel on the left side. He's so French. He just doesn't think things through. This is a roast play, but remember, I'm not being completely serious, all right? Okay, what are we doing? What are you do you Oh, he's looking around. He's inspecting the car. It's funny how we call that glove compartment or glove box, but nobody keeps gloves in there anymore. That was back in the fucking 1800s when we had buggies instead of automobiles. It's funny, we call the trunk a trunk, but English people call it a boot. Boot and trunk, it's like that neither of them- well, trunk can be used for, like, a large suitcase kind of thing. But boot? Your destination is four miles from here. Ooh. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Evil Siri with dark sound bars. Ooh, it's so sinister. With a black background when it talks to you. And off we go. 
<laughs> it's funny, I, like having a Siri voice say that. It's like, take your next destination to your death. See? I'm gonna turn the music down. Everything else seems so damn loud. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Wow, the music is down to like 20%. I don't get it. Let's see if that helps. Maybe it's a glitch. The music's good though. I don't want it to be too low, but... Yeah, the thing gives them instructions like... in a very cold... You know, it's programmed to say this. Your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? The music's too low. I'm sorry I'm ruining this. <laughs> Let me turn it back up. Let's turn it back up to like 40%. Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. Are you serious? You Really? I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm- I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> the controller's vibrating like crazy. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. How does the little GPS even know? I don't oh, it's a GPS. Die. Not here. Not like this. I'm not an- I'm no expert, but also how do the batteries on that thing survive two years? If I succeed, with, I'll without being noticed? It's my only need. No turning back now. You have the option to refuse these. I don't know if you have the option to refuse this one. Yeah, you can. It's crazy. A lot of good it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? Yeah, you actually can say fuck this and not do it. I've got to do but it. But I'm for gonna Sean's do it. Sake. I have no choice. <laughs> if anybody remembers my uh, worst video game tra video game trophy ever video, you're about to see it. Um, I'll I'll put a card in where I explain how much I fucking hate this part to get it. I wonder I wonder how good I can do it this time. Well, oh see, nope. I'm tilting it. I'm being. Oops. I don't think there's any way to avoid getting like getting bumped into. I know I won't do as good a job to get the trophy, yeah, see? You can't hit any cars, that's the trophy, but fuck that. Yeah, on this one I think you have to, like, tilt it very dramatically. Holy shit, I can't believe I got it that time! You have very limited amount of time, and you have to tilt the controller, like, almost all the way. <laughs> like, almost flipping it upside down. It was- it was much different on PS3. Oh, wait, am I supposed to go through that? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Ah! Why tilting? Why not just use the analog stick? It's so dumb. I've never seen a, a dummy used for <laughs> for construction. Like a mannequin, really? Is that a thing in Europe? Because it sure as fuck isn't it. <laughs> Wow, I'm actually doing a really good job, considering. I fucked up at the beginning, but I'm definitely doing better here. And that tilty thing back and forth, that- when he was trying to keep the car steady, that is the hardest one. His mouth wasn't moving! Oh, there just happened to be- okay. Oh, that was a checkpoint. Yeah, those are the guys you should have fucking contacted from the start before doing these stupid trials. I think I fucked that up, too. I think you're not supposed to touch any of the cars, but like I said, it's unavoidable. Oops! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, fuck! Thankfully, that one doesn't matter. Did he just pop a tire? Because I didn't hear- oops! Oh, no! Thankfully, that doesn't matter. The car flips upside down regardless. If I remember right, you can actually fuck this up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shake the controller. 
The destination was here, upside down. Speaking of which, I have to... <laughs> all this time he could have busted it open and get the reward without having to do all this bullshit. Oh, up, not down. Shake. Sorry about the noise on my mic. I have to wiggle this stupid thing. Oh, I guess he wouldn't know the keys inside that. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. That's interesting, huh? You have to, like, be able to read this upside down. Doing this was easier than changing the baby's diaper. You think it'd be the other way around. Oh, goody. Now get the fuck out of the car before you become roast beef! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh god, more of this shit. Ah! Wiggle, 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 wiggle! There we go. Ow! No, 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 not that one. The, the foot, the legs. No, not out there. You're not going to get out. Wrong way. That one. Yeah, that one. Kick it. Attaboy. There we go. Wow, it's taking a long time for that car to burn. Lucky bastard. I'd keep moving. Where the fuck are the cops? They shot him not that long ago. They would have gotten there by then. They would have gotten there like a minute and a half ago. Don't you think? But no, the plot device is keeping the cops, you know, on his- off of his tail. Just long enough for him to just walk a few yards away and look at the cell phone instead of, you know, going around the corner where they won't find him. Once again, then this stuff doesn't make any sense. Daddy, I'm drowning! Help, asshole! I'm Static? Have you ever seen a phone with snowy static? Like a little TV from the 90s. Oop! More letters. See, he gets- he gets more- oh god. You might wanna- oh, and there goes my dog barking. Hold on, I'm gonna mute the mic for a second. My dog barks at fucking everything, sorry. She's a guard dog looking for Ethan. Let's just put it that way. Back to Madison. Why does it flicker like that? I don't know. Always looks like she's kind of bobbing her head. Like she's listening to music or something. Da -da 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 -da. Two inches. I don't understand how people can keep track of rain when rain goes down drain pipes and shit. I really don't know how that works. It's funny, kind of like Eva from Metal Gear Solid 3. The way this woman gets off the motorcycle is very, uh... Seductive. I don't know, it's just... The way they, the way they lift their leg up is like... Ah, it's just very... <laughs> very seductive. Doesn't quite look natural. But then again, I'm not a motorcyclist. Maybe that's how women do it, I don't know. I'm worn out. I've gotta sleep. Yeah, but like I said... The swivelage. Excuse me. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like Madison Page. Like she's got that that swivel walk. Can I slow down her walking? The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Like I know, yeah, she's got a very perky, nice butt, but. She's, like, really going out of her way to swivel her hips. Like, look at that woman! She's not walking like that. Maybe she is. I don't know. I just don't know women that walk like that unless they're on a fucking runway, like I said before. Wait, let's listen to this for a minute. Origami, not Gammy. He may still be alive, as the previous victims were all killed three to five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. I'm Michael Netty for ICN. ICN.
His office is the bathroom, apparently. Oh god, you're gonna love this guy. Yeah, if you own a motel, you're automatically a creep, I guess. Just like in Detroit, Become Human. You own a club, you're a creep. What can I do for you? Oh, sweetheart. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Ugh. Feeling the register. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? What is up with that thing he's doing with his mouth? Is he on drugs? I love to just sit here and not do anything. Just ha like, look how uncomfortable she looks. If you don't push anything, moments like this, nothing happens, but the camera will just kind of, kind of float around and change angles on occasion. And she's just like, do I really want to stay at this hotel with this fucking creep doing that weird thing with his mouth, chewing invisible gum? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough. What kind of a hotel asks whether or not you're single? Unless that's single room. I think it's single room. I'm a, I'm a dummy. Madison, page 27. Single. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. I'd be like, never, not after seeing your creepy ass. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. In the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> courtyard, were you? <laughs> that obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. Yeah, I get some Norman Bates vibes. Cold sweat. Actually, Norman Bates was more charming than he was. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. You gotta, like, you gotta add that stupid percussion sound to her walking, her hip swivelage. Whoops, see? I don't know how to fucking steer these characters. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Hip swivelage. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. You over the routine and itty bitty waist. Uh oh. Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. Costs too much money in America. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. <laughs> it's funny, I just- I saw a video of a guy who got in a car wreck, but as soon as the ambulance said they were gonna take him to the hospital, he actually untied himself and jumped out of the ambulance and left because he didn't want to have to pay the bill for the <laughs> trip to the hospital. I'm just gonna let her stand here and think for a minute. He's really out of it. What the hell happened to him? I don't blame him, dude. If you're in America, you know how fucking expensive it is to get picked up by an ambulance and get a bill for the ER. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? Because it's going to cost him like thirty thousand dollars. I don't even make that much money in a year. Leave him there and tell the receptionist. She even swivels her hips when she's helping a dude in an emergency. Have you got the key? She makes extra effort. Boink. Like I said, these rooms aren't that bad. I could use a nicer wallpaper, a new wallpaper, but they... Yeah, see, the wallpaper's nasty. Hmm, what's she thinking now? I'll help him first and ask questions later. No ask questions now. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> But it's sore as hell. <laughs> strangings, strangings, strangers helping strangers in two episodes. It looks deep. It's good to show kindness. I should disinfect his cuts. Medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. <laughs> it's funny. It's like if, if you didn't know that. Let me see. I want to look at this real quick. Oh, I think I already did that, didn't I? I don't remember. Yeah. See, I recorded that a while ago. It's been a while, and I hadn't uploaded it yet because I had to finish, so I don't remember. 
I should disinfect his cuts. Wait, why did I put that back? Oh yeah, because you can examine everything in here. What's this? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. I don't think paracamol is a real medicine. They have to, like, make up fake medicine in video games so people don't get um, influenced or something. Necrofrin 100 antibiotics. Necrofrin. Administer to combat infection. They don't- okay, I don't think they have any kind of medicine like this in hotel rooms. I remember being in a hotel, they didn't even have band-aids. Like, you have to ask the front desk for first aid. anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Yeah, they don't have a whole drugstore in, in the medicine cabinets. At least not for anywhere I've been. Not even band-aids, because they don't want people stealing that shit, you know? I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, I guess I'm taking that. Just that? Okay. Can't- I can't take- I can only take one bottle at a time. But yeah, um, like in Metal Gear Solid, the first one, they- the drug diazepam was, um... Uh, was mentioned, but then they changed it to pentazamine, which is a fictitious version of that medicine. It's weird. I'm not sure why they did that, because they I'm already said- I'm gonna your wound. This might hurt a little. I <laughs> should mash it on his face. Ow! I can fuck this up, and it's funny. I think if you fuck up enough times, he'll say, I can handle this, get out. <laughs> he doesn't say it like that, Here. but... At least it won't get infected. But for the sake of the story and Thanks. the character development, I'm trying to keep it, you know, to where it's not completely... You know, I don't want to cut off any of the storyline stuff, but it is pretty funny when he's like, you make a really shitty nurse, get out of my room, I'll do it myself. Like, he doesn't say it like that, but might as well. Is that the painkiller? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Yeah, there. I know for a fact there'd never be painkillers in a hotel room. Never. And what's funny is, I know a bit about medicine. I worked in, you know, I worked in the field where you had to give people medicine. And painkiller and pain reliever are two different things. Like... A painkiller is like Percocet. A pain reliever is Tylenol, so it should be pain reliever. Painkillers are narcotics. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. Gee, that's what it does? It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. That's a bottle, I don't not think a box. It's a good idea to exceed the dose. <laughs> I'm just making fun. I, I, I just see all these inconsistencies. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I... I'm gonna take a shower. Alright, let me help you. You gonna help me wash my penis? I think I saw something on the wall. Did they have vibrating beds in that hotel? I keep saying hotel. It's I'll a wait motel. Until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. That's another thing. I'm, like, very particular about words. Hotels and motels are different. Same idea, but mo motels are, like, small and more compact. Motor lodge. Hotels are more like homes. They're bigger. Like, Holiday Inn is a hotel. Talk motel 6 is a motel. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's <laughs> your name? He's wearing his underwear in there. Madison. That's funny. Are you staying in the hotel? Motel! No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. Oh, I get to snoop. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. Uh oh, there's the origami. She's like, oh shit. Is this who I think it is? Apart from fixing up strangers. Uh. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture Naked for fashionable guys. design magazines. And you? It's I'm, funny, he's in his underwear. I'm an architect. Sure you are, George Costanza. I bet you're also a marine biologist. I wonder if anybody's a Seinfeld fan and gets that joke. Do you work for Art Vandelay? God, why don't I- why can't I... steer people properly in this game? I totally wasn't spying on you. Unfortunately, he still had his underwear Thanks on. For staying. I could have sworn he was naked I when I first played this. Now. I was disappointed not to see his ass. Okay. Alright. I'm off then. 
I better get going then. That was very nice of her. Can you at least say thank you? By the way, you never told me your name. Put in tame. Ethan. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. Be careful, Ethan. He didn't even thank her, how rude. She patched you up and everything. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. The box. I have to open another origami figure. The box. You opened it. We came. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. Man, I'm thirsty. Well, you need to stay hydrated if you want to rescue your child. Is there anything in there? Holy shit. Yep. There we go with the big giant fancy glass water bottles again. It looks empty. Yeah, all the objects in the game are not all that great, but they I think it's because they had to, you know, minimize graphics for objects so that the graphics for the characters and other things were more realistic. It's funny, like, why doesn't he just take the box with him and, you know, go from point A to point B? Why does he always have to go back to the motel? Isn't that risky, too? Like, people are looking for him, and now the cops are definitely looking for him. So why keep going back to the motel? Why don't you just stay on the run and finish all these stupid puzzles? And for that matter, why only open one at a time? I'd open all of them, you know? Try to figure out what... Ugh. I wouldn't just open them all. I would take them to the fucking police and have them decipher what the fuck this idiot killer what. Okay, are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant, blah, blah, blah. Free money. But yeah, it's like... Why didn't any of these people take this shit to the cops? Because when there's a hostage situation, a kidnap situation, you know, in the movies, they're always like, Don't call the cops, or we will kill your blankety-blank child, wife, whatever. I don't know why they all sound like that. But yeah, it's like, if you tell the police, we will kill them. And it's like, who's gonna find out you tell the police? You know, you can do it discreetly and have unmarked vehicles and what, you know what I mean? It's just, bleh. Okay, back to druggy dude, Namin Jaden. Namin, what's that little cut on his cheek? Yeah, he looks kind of strange in this game, like I mentioned before. Fuck, I don't even remember. Oh, I remember now what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's like a funny chase sequence. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there. Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? Because I was hoping he'd shoot I you for me. I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. I was hoping he would. Ironic. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. <laughs> a street cop who's been through the mill. <laughs> I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Ew. <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Norman. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe they'd be buddies. I'm so spoiled. I mean, it's optional, but you know, like in Detroit Become Human, Connor and Hank can become buddies. And when they do, it's fucking awesome. But not these two. He's just an asshole from beginning to end. Miroslav Korda? Who? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. I think I just saw boobies on a sign back there. Uh oh. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. This is a hilarious ah. chase sequence. Hey man, watch it, dude. I don't wanna fuck up though. I'll do my best. Dude, with the rain, you'd be slipping. Oh. Smooth! God, I hate that shaky cam. It makes me nauseous. Hey, yourself! I'm chasing a criminal. Whoop! <laughs> hey, watch it, man! Whoa! Whoa! This is really interesting. Whoa! You'll see. Hey, that's a waste of good produce, dickhead! Whoa! I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, there's a little diner in the grocery store. Looks like a buffet. What kind of fucking grocery store is this? Hey, man, Look out, it. flower man! <laughs> up 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 Dude, I'm awesome. Look at me go. Oh. Oh. 
But there's water all okay. Fish? I never seen fish displayed like that. That wouldn't really keep them fresh. But that's not to Whoa! That's not totally unusual. It's the fucking chickens. What kind of a grocery store has live chickens? This isn't China. This is supposed to be like Pennsylvania. It's a there's a buffet with live chickens. That would stink. And a giant meat locker in the back. Dude, has fucking David Cage ever set foot on American soil? We do not have buffets with live chickens, nor do we have meat lockers in the back of a restaurant the like that. Where the fuck is Blake? And if we do, it's really- that'd be really fucking weird. Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. You can't- I can see! What are you, blind? The damn place is it's, freezing. My hands are numb. It's really You've only been in here for like 10 seconds. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. So silly. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. This reminds me of Silent Hill 2. With the meat hanging down. And Rocky. I don't think I run out of time here. But yeah, like I said, maybe there's meat locker ow in the back of restaurants, but none that I've seen. It was out in the open too. Ow! That was awesome. Ooh, ooh. Whoop. Oh, there he goes with that grunting sound again. <laughs> nice dodge. These fight sequences are funny. Ooh, headbutt, dirty fighter. <laughs> Unhand me, you villain. Doesn't he hit him with meat at some point? Pretty sure. Oh, ouch. Doink, nice to meet you. Uh, get it? <laughs> I think you can fuck this up and he gets away. Oh yeah, gee, thanks so much for showing up at the last second. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Origami, not gammy. It's not a pair of legs. It's a fucking foldable piece of paper Japanese thing. It's not origami, it's origami. How, why is that so hard for these people to say? It's, you know, I get maybe you could say potato, potato, tomato, tomato, but come on. Origami, how hard is that to oh. say? Origami. Mm. Say it with me, bunholes. Origami. And I know it's spelled origami. Maybe uh, whatever. It just bugs me. Can you tell things bug me? Let's see. What does he have to say? This goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. Yeah, right. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars. The kid who disappeared. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. His office reminds me so much of Eddie Valiant from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Ugh. Ugh. Makes a weird face. Their teeth look so weird in these games. They always look like they're made of wood. Oops. No, no, no. Have a drink. Go ahead. Have a swig. What is that? Bourbon? Ugh, I bet it tastes like piss. I can't drink. Ugh. Yuck. I don't know how people drink that nastiness. It says black something because they can't put Jack Daniels on there. Of course not. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, his old cop badge. Or is it his new cop badge? Do private investigators get badges? Yeah, despite a lot of things I complain about, I love the Detective Noir stuff. And his office, you know, talking about the murders and all that stuff. is definitely my cup of tea. Uh, what, what else? Oh, the file thing. <laughs> Papers are stiff. They never look like paper in the older games. I don't think they could- Who's that girl on that picture there? Let me zoom in. I have no idea. He- I actually really like his apartment. <laughs> Even though, you know, it's- it's a little drab. It could use a woman's touch, so to speak, but it- it's kind of nice. 
spacious. I don't know, I guess because I lived in some really shitty conditions growing up in really, really, really small apartments. Wouldn't even call them an apartment, more like a closet. Every time I see, like in these games, interior design's awesome. Like, you know, they got nice lights on the wall. I don't mind the wallpaper, actually, that's kind of like a forest green. <laughs> His kitchen's really puny, but, you know, for just one person, it's actually... it's not bad. I like those old retro refrigerators. And he keeps it clean. Like, it, it's rather nice. I think the kitchen's a little too small. I am, I'm spoiled now because I have a pretty decent-sized kitchen. But... I don't know why I can just walk around and... look about. But yeah, I like his kitchen. <laughs> Is that supposed to- like a little square hamburger, or is that a sandwich? Holy shit, look at the size of those eggs! Goose eggs? Ostrich eggs? Those are not chicken eggs. Chicken eggs are not that big. What was that? Did he just drink- I don't know. It didn't even have a lid. Oh my god, dude. This is a roast play, so I'm just gonna be nitpicking the fuck out of the game. You- you remember. But it's like, I listen to myself and I'm like, Jesus Christ, Sonny, calm down. Play the fucking game and stop complaining and... nitpicking everything. Is this supposed to be- this is supposed to be him! Yeah, when he was thin. I like- the, see? I like these windows! Except they face a brick wall, but whatever. You know, it's- Kinda nice. I like it. Just a minute, I need to take a piss. <laughs> she can wait. Even the bathroom. I like the bathroom. Yeah, I guess it is a little cramped, but whatever. If anyone's lived in shitty conditions, it's like you're thankful for any space and any, uh, you know, kind of classy looking interior All right, I'm coming. The only problem is I can never figure out where the fucking front door is. That doesn't look like the front door. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. She's got lazy can eyes. I come in? Sure. I really like her. She's Pretty determined and quite a trooper when it comes to. You want a drink? You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Didn't really expect to see her again. I was in the middle of saying something and I don't even remember what it was. Should now. be in the kitchen cupboard. Should 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 be in the kitchen cupboard. Why, is her th why are his thoughts so brisk? Oh, she's determined, you know, to figure out where the killer is and all that, and... I mean, I guess any good mother would be, but I don't know. You'll see. I just like her determination. Alright, where I live, you never, ever, ever drink the tap water. Never fucking ever. It is nasty. You might as well drink water out of the goddamn toilet. So I'm jealous of people that can just pour water from the tap and drink it without getting ill. It's so fucking gross. Only bottled water, Thanks. only purified. Bottled water isn't, like, perfect, but at least it's, you know, filtered. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important. She looks tired. A letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. Why didn't the you tell the I cops? Oh, these you people think are annoying. There's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. <sighs> How could you not give that to the police? How could you overlook that and forget? Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? Oh, I forgot to look at the other stuff. Whatever. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lauren. Now get out. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. <laughs> I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Her face is so weird. 
It just looks weird sometimes. D diplomatic? There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. He doesn't really need the envelope. I'm sorry, Lauren, but I work alone. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Like this six. This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. Didn't he have that box I'm he got kidding. from Nassim? That was a stupid idea. Sorry and the for phone? wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Yeah, Wait. don't hit your ass on the way out. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. She Are looks so partners? stoned all the time. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> that music kind of startled me. It's pretty fucking loud. I don't know why I can't equalize the sound and the music. It's just loud, but... Oh, whatever. As long as you can hear everything... As long as my ass isn't babbling when they're talking, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, this part's interesting. I like this chapter. It's actually continuous. I don't think, like, the apartment and this party segment is in the same chapter. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. I guess they're just letting anybody in. Oh. Where'd he get that? <laughs> Whatever. Not a lot of shit doesn't make sense, and that's one of them. Where'd he get the invitation? What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big with tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Stupid to bring Lauren. <laughs> I don't do partners too well. Hey, you agreed. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. I don't think you would needed it. Guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. It was two guards at the gate. There's nobody here at the doors. It's not that bad. I love this. All these party animals. Weird music. What a joy! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? <laughs> we'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. <laughs> Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. Look I'm at that horror down Kramer. there. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. It's funny, I play this quite a few times, and the dancers, the NPCs, like the dancer on that table, is different every time. It's either like a girl with black hot pants and brown hair, blonde with red pants like there. It's so different every time. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Look <laughs> at these guys stumbling around. <laughs> Well, I'm here. Might as well have it. I don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. That's literally every party. <clears throat> hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. No, I'd rather stare at her. Dude, I would look at all that shit on the table. I'd be scared to dance on a table. She's got like less than a foot of space. I'd be, and she's probably high. I'd be tripping all over that shit, landing on the candles, burning my ass. Plus, with how big I am, that would be a fucking disaster. She's quite gifted, isn't she? Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. I love that song. I forget what it's called. I think it's called Poker Face or something. Not Lady Gaga's Poker Face. This is like instrumental music, and I think it's royalty free because I've heard it used on YouTube channels, but. I like it. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Yeah, it's because I'm busy looking at the bimbo on the table. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Yeah, I prefer Pepsi. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. <laughs> T 
Do do do. Whoa! What are you doing? Go the. Ugh. See what I mean? I'm suck at steering. What's all that? I mean, it's booze, but what's those little? Are those little cakes or something? Hmm. This looks like nothing but champagne. Whiskey straight up, no ice. Oh, okay. They have some variety. Even the way everybody's dressed looks European to me. I don't know, it's- I mean, some of them are skimpy, but they look like European skimpy, you know what I mean? Like the way they dress in a club in Germany or some shit. And then you've got women, a lot of women, wearing like a halter top with jeans and high heels. I don't, and they're all wearing, you know, even the guys. Is it just me or do all these people look like they're from Europe? They don't look like Americans. Fashion's a little different. Not by much. What is that? They look like medicine boxes. I guess they're medicine boxes full of drugs. Who the fuck knows? Hey! You think you could help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! You do, actually, with your long overcoat and your gruff-looking face. <laughs> yeah, like I said, these people just look like they're not from America, but whatever. A lot of women in the same outfit. We got. I don't know if I'm shouting, sorry. Hot pants, hoochie boots, and uh, bustiers, as we call them, which is basically a bra, but it's like a fashionable party outfit. Look at this guy over here. What the fuck is he doing? That must have been hilarious. Oh, and he's done. <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> So many of these fucking NPCs are so silly. I know I have to talk to Lauren, but I like to mess around and look around first. I think that's the same guy. Like, you have, always have, like, some people that are just, like, dancing, but really weird. You got, like, a Lamage a Dance et Toi over here. Lamage. I think it's Menage. Menage et Toi. Ha ha ha. So awkward. I love it. Finding someone who wasn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. Tonight. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? She's like the only person that seems normal around here. Okay. I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? I want to get out of here. You're the Not one who. Yet. You could have waited in the car. Hard man to meet. But I'm going back in. Hang tight. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going, douchebag. Actually, let's sit here. <clears throat> Did you talk to the woman or something? If I remember right. Approach. You come here often? Probably only speaks French. <laughs> I think the music changes for hey, or twins down there between that dude's legs. Great party, huh? Wow, she's a great conversationalist. Oh, and there she goes. I think I'll stare at the the hoochie mama up here. Do I wonder if uh. Madison taught her the hip swivelage. Swivelage is not a word, but I invented it, so. Somebody put that in the Urban Dictionary. Hip swivelage. Excuse me. I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. Nice blue shot. Blue. That was awkward angle. I'm a detective. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Uh, bye. Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go out. Here's Mr. Washington. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it. I ain't for sale. Everybody's got a press. If I want to see Gordy Kramer. 
I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. And I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. I like this ta this music too. <laughs> There's that guy again. <laughs> There's actually several ways you can get past the guards, but my favorite is the more obvious one. One of them, you can see that guy in the white suit. You can talk to him and pretend that someone else talks shit and they'll start fighting. And that distracts the guards, but I prefer this method. So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. I've got two ghouls blocking the way. Damn, so loud. You want me to handle them? Yes! Hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? That's sexist, and she's not wearing high Wait heels, asshole. Me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. Don't underestimate her, dude. She's a hooker. She knows what she's doing. Oh, excuse me, working girl. I love this. The music stopped. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this cracks me up. It's funny, that's really good timing. The music s started a new track right when she started. The guy's like, oh yeah. And the other guy's like, no, you're on a you're on the drop. Ooh, down she goes. Oh no. I love it that she acts like she's doped out of her mind. Thank you, Lauren. You're awesome. What do you do? Knock him out with your high heels? Miss. Fuck off. Miss, are you all right? hey, up. So if, if you don't go, she is not able to do that a second time. But it's funny, the guy at the party that you can, you know, inv instigate a fight, they could do that repeatedly. I remember trying to deliberately fuck it up to see what would happen, and it can be repeated. <laughs> Why are you just sitting here? <laughs> Why would they give the option to sit there? Obviously you got stuff to do. I don't know. Let me see. I think you could look over the- yeah. Why is the camera shaking? The camera's always fucking jiggling. It's nauseating. Sorry. That was song, ain't it? Oh, it was Laura. Laura? Yeah. Lauren. Sorry. Not Laura. I don't remember the characters' names. There she is. Is she gonna sit back down? I remember there was a glitch where she was like standing inside the couch. Okay, she's sitting this time. Okay, that's enough fucking around. Where is this guy again? I don't remember. Is it this room? Yep. Hey, look at that zebra print. You always, always have to- a creep will always have zebra print. This is so interesting. So you got a guy with two <laughs> hot chicks making out on a couch next to him, but he's watching cartoons. <laughs> yeah, it is rather amusing. Yeah, look at this, dude. Anytime there's like a creep involved, they have to have some kind of zebra print. Did I say leopard? My bad. Zebra. <laughs> zebra print, you know, a carpet, a blanket, whatever that is, a partition. Kind of a cool room, though. Circular bed. Yeah, I'm always examining the interior design. And, yeah, I love that. That's a pretty awesome hot tub. <laughs> it's almost like he's laughing at them, but he's laughing at the cartoon. We can watch it, too. It's like a 20-second long <laughs> looping animation. I, I don't know where these come from, but it's really impressive. All these animation. Oh shit, I can't. It's not letting me. This is the best part. He says that ev no matter what part of the cartoon. It just ended, <laughs> see? <laughs> so awkward, those women are like. They're not really making out, they're just kind of bumping Sheldon. heads. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What is your name? What is your quest? <laughs> What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> that cartoon's not even that funny. <laughs> this is so awkward. 
I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. Thought he was talking to me. <laughs> the two women are like, okay. <laughs> They're so fucking high or drunk. Accusing. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get into your limousine. Oop. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated till your father made a little phone call and his file was closed. Now what I want to know is what really happened. You know, just so I make sure that you had nothing to do with the origami killer. Do I make myself clear? The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? These poor French actors trying so hard to not sound weird, but it's unavoidable. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan. Well, Take he sounds weird home. anyway, because he's a creep. get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Where's Chris Hansen when you need him? Listen to the way he says origami. It's awful. Bugs the hell Very out of me. Well. I'm the origami killer. There's no letter R in origami after I the A. I get my into my car. I drown them in rainwater. What would you? Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one origami. hand. Origami? An orchid on their chest. I do that because... I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. You got a weird hobby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? More! This interview is over. It's not an interview. It's an interrogation. Get rid of this clown! How dare you call me a clown! Yeah, you can get seriously fucked up if you don't defend yourself. <laughs> I think he gets beat any either way, but yeah, I'm gonna take you first. And now, oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, there we go. Shelby's big. He can take it. Yeah. Nice. Can I beat that little pipsqueak laughing at me too, please? Oh god damn it! Wrong button. Oof. Oh, I love that. The fucking stunts. He do he doesn't just fall off the couch. He hops backwards into the coffee table. This is where you get Hitman wannabe. Yeah, you ain't no Agent 47. Oh, come on! Take a swing at him. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? Is your first name Cosmo? Oh, wait, he only wrong has Kramer. To lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. How about I raise my middle finger and shove it no, up your nose? Be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Or your Not ass. Me. Sucks you can't beat him. <laughs> Look at the guy on the couch. <laughs> Enjoy your nap. <laughs> and he just. He's got two guards, unconscious, possibly dead, and he's just watching his cartoons. A real model citizen indeed. And the cartoon's over the exact same time. That's very, uh, very good timing. 